All right guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I need to clarify one thing that has, on one video I did, that I'm not gonna say that has been eating at me, but has been, I'm not even gonna say bothering, but just something needs to be clarified. Okay, first things first. If I don't say something, it's because I'm not implying anything, right? If I didn't say it, if I literally didn't say this is a white board, and I just say it's a board, I didn't ever say it was white, I'm just saying. This is a board. If I say something in my videos, it doesn't necessarily mean uh, something else. Because I did a video maybe two years ago about uh, GFIs, and it's been a pretty good video for me. I had a wire GFI, I think is what it was. And a lot of comments uh, by a lot of electricians, I think, uh, commented and said that I said that you can put 20 amp receptacles on a 15 amp circuit. Never did I say that. Now, if you go back and watch that video, you might say, you're damn right I didn't say that. I deleted the part where even it was remotely possible that somebody may have gotten that. The only thing that I said in that video was this, and this is literally the only thing I said. The only thing I said, watch my lips, the only thing I said was, I prefer 20 amp GFIs over 15 amp. Never did I say put that on a 15 amp breaker. Never. Never one time did I say that. But there was a few people who constantly said, well you're saying do this. That's wrong. You're... So I, just because they brought that to everybody's attention, which is fine because that's what you should do. If somebody does say something wrong, you need to correct them. And I agree with that. But I never said that. Never. I literally told you what I said. And I still have a, car a hard copy of that video still saved where I said what I just told you. Uh, I always prefer, this is just my preference, a 20 amp, but you know. The only thing I said is I prefer 20 amp receptacles. But I didn't say go put, you know, on 15 amp record. Never did I say that. I'm gonna stick to that because I didn't. Okay, 20 amp receptacles need to stay on a 20 amp circuit. I did say that, I'm telling you right now. If you have a 20 amp breaker in there and you have 12 gauge wire, you gotta ver verify both. You can put 20 amp receptacles on there, plain and simple, okay? You can also put 15 amp receptacles on there, on a 20 amp, plain and simple. It's in the code book. I'm not gonna quote you the code because I know it's in there. But you cannot put, you cannot open your panel, see a 15 amp breaker, 14 gauge wire, you cannot put a 20 amp on there. You cannot do it. I'm telling you straight up. That's all I'm saying, okay? Now you guys know, I have corrected what I'm saying. Plain and simple. So I just want to come and clarify for anybody who watches that video what I said. Because you may read the comments and be like, what are they even talking about? Because I did delete the part that remotely could have said that because I didn't want to keep getting just by a few people. But I'm just telling you straight up. Okay? I know my code. I know what I said. I know what I didn't say. I just told you what I said. So we're clear now. That is is the code nothing more nothing less okay believe me when i say that all right guys listen chances are i just want to keep this in mind if i'm doing a video on anything whether it's bending conduit whether it's putting a switch in three-way four-way single pole whatever chances are if i'm showing you on this board or i'm doing it on these fake walls that i have Chances are I know what I'm doing, all right? I'm not saying I'm the best electrician because by far I am not. But I am telling you, if I quote something, it's in that code book. Plain and simple. Don't take anything out of context that's not there. My rant is over. Guys, listen. I appreciate every single one of you guys who subscribe to me. I love my profession. I love helping you guys. If you have any kind of video that you may want to see. I try to write down everything when I see in a comment that sparks my interest, which is pretty much everything. I try to say, okay, I'm doing that video. So, you know, I'm going to be working on compound bins very shortly. What I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to build a wall right here so I can show you guys exactly how to do a compound bin, uh, not just on a piece of paper or on the whiteboard, but actually how to do it because I think that's pretty important. You don't use that bend a whole lot. If you don't know what that is, look it up. But you don't use a whole lot, but when you need it, you need it. All right, listen. Definitely like and subscribe, guys. Keep in mind, if I didn't say it, I didn't say it. Like and subscribe. God bless, and we'll see you on the next one. Have a great day.